Resident Evil news is once again making the rounds all over the internet and RE fans will definitely be excited to hear what Capcom has in store for the series. Spoiler alert, this may or may not include four separate Resident Evil titles, two of those being remakes, one being a remaster and the final being a new installment in the series. So last month we got a bit of new information regarding Resident Evil 9. This information came by way of industry insider Dust Golem. The notable leaker initially claimed that RE9 was potentially facing internal delays. However, Dust Golem has since recanted that claim and assures fans that the development for Resident Evil 9 is on track for its targeted release window of January 2025 and also claims that fans should be getting a reveal pretty soon. To add to these leaks, Dust Golem also claims that Resident Evil 9 has had a very in-depth and lengthy developmental cycle of 7 years, indicating that Resident Evil 9 may be the most ambitious entry in the series. This long developmental cycle was due to the fact that Capcom initially started development of Resident Evil 9 alongside what was back then a spin-off Resident Evil title, but has since been renamed Resident Evil 8 Village. There is also another bit of information that Dust Golem shares, regarding the in-game engine and how the tech will be used in regards to Resident Evil 9. Dust Golem speaks about how Capcom approaches its new gaming initiatives. The developer usually kickstarts their initiative goals by grouping three projects together. Examples that Dust Golem gives are how Capcom fully incorporated and took advantage of the new RE engine by initially using it for three of its games. Those games being Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 2, and Devil May Cry 5. Then, due to the well-received Resident Evil 2 remake, Capcom continued its pattern of threes by also remaking Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil 4, giving light to the RE remake initiative which will no doubt continue with other classic Resident Evil titles in the future. Now with the inevitable release of Resident Evil 9 comes Capcom's new initiative. According to Dust Golem, Capcom has expanded the functionality of the RE engine with the intention of making its next titles open world games. And the three titles that Capcom will be using to build upon the RE engine's open world tech are Dragon's Dogma 2, which has already been released, Monster Hunter Wilds, and Resident Evil 9. Moving on to the next bits of Resident Evil news. This information comes from ex-user Resident Evil Crafts. RE Crafts noted that on the PlayAsia website there is a PlayStation 5 listing of Resident Evil 9. But that is not all, there are also PlayStation 5 listings teasing at the potential remaster of Resident Evil 0, and the potential remakes of Resident Evil 5 and the heavily requested Resident Evil Code Veronica. Each listing comes with their own description, the three classic Resident Evil titles which we are all familiar with and Resident Evil 9's listing with the following description. Resident Evil 9 Revenant Shadows is the latest installment in the iconic survival horror series by Capcom. This game continues the chilling legacy with a fresh story, new characters, and the return of familiar faces. Set in an expansive, terrifying world filled with new threats and mysteries, Revenant Shadows blends intense action, intricate puzzles, and the atmospheric dread that fans have come to love. The description there gives a familiar synopsis for most Resident Evil games and doesn't really give much information on what the player can expect aside from the obvious, and it is still unclear if the subtitle of Revenant Shadows is the actual working title for RE9, or if it will end up being the rumored Apocalypse subtitle. But regardless, it seems like Capcom is hard at work with the Resident Evil franchise, and according to Dust Golem, we won't have to wait much longer to see what's in store for Resident Evil. With that update, that brings this video to an end. Let me know what you guys are most excited for in the comments down below. A new Resident Evil game or a remake of a classic RE title? And also let me know if an open world Resident Evil game is something that you guys think could work or if you guys would like to keep the gameplay more linear like previous titles. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it informative, consider leaving a like, it really helps the channel out. 
for more updates on Resident Evil, Capcom and video game news, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video.